Yeah, man, it's your boy Young Philly. Stephen tries. I'm Johnny Carey. And this is Sabotage, the show that gets us ranking ourselves in a lineup full of strangers. The other two are going to be disrupted in the order because one of the strangers is a mole. And if they succeed in ruining the order, they'll win themselves 200 quid. It's going to be good. But yes. before we do get into the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell to let you know when first time I upload. <laughs> Johnny Carey, you are up first and you'll be ranking yourselves amongst the strangers with how many exes you lot have had. Right. So uh, get up, off you go. Best of luck. Good luck. Hope his exes are in there. <laughs> that would be jokes, wouldn't it? <laughs> Plot twist. Hello, oh, no, nice to meet you. Hello. Johnny. Hello, Johnny. Nice to meet you. Is Hi. it Eileen? Eileen. Eileen. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Nice to meet you. First impressions. I've just got to go off how old we all look because that's the most logical thing. Do you know what I mean? The older you are, the more chance you'll be more people. So I'm going to say... Maggie, if you can hear us, just, uh, just yawn at Johnny. Chris, you just go there's a carrot for me. This side? And then this side, this side, this side. Yeah, I'm going to keep with that for a minute. That's an average, average one I'm, I'm going with. Uh, well, I think I fit in this lineup here because I've had one ex. So, you know what I mean? One relationship. Unless no one's had any, then I've got to be right at the start. Aline, have you ever had your heart broken? Ah, that's a good question. Can of. Don't say you've had your heart broken or you ain't had no man. You get what I'm saying? Just play with it. Maggie, have you ever had your heart broken? I wouldn't say I have. Yeah. Um, but. I think it depends on what you call heartbreak because everyone's experience is a bit different. Mm. But yeah, it depends on what you call heartbreak. You've broken a few oh, hearts, Maggie. But I feel like I feel like I'm more of the heartbreaker. Yeah. Should you get it? I haven't got my heart broken because I break people's hearts. Do you find it hard to commit? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. 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 Can you stand there, Chris? Yes. Have you ever broken someone's heart? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's broke many hearts. Oh yeah. Stud. Carrots. Whose heart are we broken in? How, what went down? I had a relationship with somebody and I didn't realise they had a ready-made family, like there was a baby. Oh, I see. So, okay. So when I found out about that, then I had to swerve. Yeah. <laughs> swerve! <laughs> Someone else's family. Okay. So I could have broken her heart, but, uh, you know, you for a good reason. You'd be the better man. Go back there for seconds on a quiet one. No, 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 no. Once I, once I swerve, I don't go back. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Maggie. You got a boyfriend now? Single? I'm single. Single? How long have you been single? A long time. How old are you? 23. 23, you've been single a long time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I feel like I'm happy with my decision you being there. Oh, oh so that's not good for us. Eileen. Yes. You single? Single. How long have you been single? A bit of time. Yeah, last summer. Chris. Johnny. Relationship, single? No, married. I believe that. I actually do believe that. It seemed like a very Good man. You give that, you give that vibe off. He's got a ring on as well, unless he's bought that for props. How long have you been married? 34 years this year. And how old are you? 56. And you said you said you haven't had your heart broken, but you've broken hearts. Yeah, that's correct. There could be a deeper meaning to that. How have you been jet set and breaking people's hearts, but you've been married for 34 years? You ain't a disloyal man now, are you, Chris? Corporate world. <laughs> it's a big wide world out there. We hope your wife's ain't watching this. <laughs> Is he the mole? He's trying to justify why he cheated that once. Because he works in corporate worlds. Uh, Clarence, yes. you single relationship? Uh, single. No. Single? You got any kids? Lots. Lots? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How old are you, Clarence? Uh, I'm retired. You don't even want to say his age. Me? How old am I? How old are you? Uh, 72. Big him up, man, like he don't look... Hey, Maggie, big up Clarence and tell him he looks sick for his age. How did Johnny let that one slide? Say, Clarence, big up, man. <laughs> Seven, you look good. What did you say? How did you say that? 72. Big him up, man. Say, My you look daughter. good, Clarence. You look, look round of applause You said there was a son. You look good. Uh, OK, so Chris, I want you yes. to come between Maggie and Aline, please. And Clarence, I feel like I can see through you. I feel like you're lying. I feel like you have... Wait, show me your hands. No ring, okay. But I feel like you've been in a long-term relationship. I don't know why I get that vibe. You seem like a 
relationship guy. I don't believe the words you're saying. All right, Maggie, when it comes to you, yeah, it's got you've got a goal like you was a prolific goal in, in secondary school. Like, your number's mad. I know that is, that's not the vibe. And that's not the kid. Get off. Like, is that? I'm sorry, Maggie. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, she was like, toilets behind the curtains, everything. Okay, so Maggie, I think you're there because you said you're 23. Yeah. 23, and you've been single for, you said quite a while. Quite a while, but before that, like when I was in secondary school, like I'm counting like before, like from- When you, when these are asked you, how many exes did you count in secondary school? Yeah. A lot of the times, like you start hoeing around like secondary school, like having- Hoeing, yes. Yeah. That's right. when you have most of your partner sponsor. Yes. Okay. What would you consider yes, hoeing Yes, hoeing, right word. Is that like? Yeah, yeah. So Chris, could you come here, please? Yes. And then Clarence, <laughs> I would actually. Yes. I like you to learn between Maggie and Aline. Okay. I quite, I quite like the order. I feel like you said you've broken people's hearts, but I feel like that's maybe just women are falling for you, and you're just brushing it. But you're still with your wife. You said you counted the ones in secondary school, so I'm people in secondary school have better relationships. Don't yeah. They? So I'm saying that at least three. I had bad daddy issues growing up. Did you? Yeah, yes. so I was like, that's what I was, I was outside. I was a city girl from before city girl. City girl, Maggie. Okay, I, I ain't got a clue what your real thing would be, but I feel like you're the mole, Karen. And I'm gonna put myself at the start, along with Chris, because we're both good men and we don't do that stuff, do you know what I mean? No, actually, can I swap Maggie and Karen, please? Actually, no, Maggie, you can go last, actually. You literally just stated you're outside, like. Okay, so, locking in, this is my final order. From least, as I've had one ex, as I count proper relationship, I'm not counting like other stuff. To most, Chris is married. Clarence is doing too much waffling. I feel like them two are just telling him like, yeah, act like this, that, the other, whatever. I feel like he's a good man. And Maggie, you literally just said in school he was outside, so <laughs> I have a lot of partners. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's, that's my decision. <laughs> right, now, if the mole's in the wrong position, and I am in the wrong position, then I will lose this 200 pound of my own money to the mole. So, can the mole please step forward? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> How? Let's go, Maggie! You're a good liar. Really? I thought, the way you are a good actor as well, because you was pausing like you was having stuff talked in your ears. Okay, so, I've had one ex. Chris? Two. Two? Many. Um, about nine to five, isn't it? Nine to five. Yeah, well, yeah, around there it's a lot. What? Okay. Yeah, most of them are like, you know, one night here and all yeah, yeah. <laughs> If they count, then it's God, it's like lots. Aline is okay. Over. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, Aline. Nine. A zero. Zero, you're never next. So I was on the right ball at the start, but then you started to f my head with the, with the yeah. same school stuff. Yeah. So yeah, so I lost. I couldn't figure out the mole was. Clarence is really out here. That's just how he's moving. I thought he was just waffling. Uh, so yeah, Maggie. You Thank me. you. Ah, told you find out. Take this care of it. That was hard. That was hard. I was no thrown off. I was thrown it off. Was though, isn't it? Clarence is active. <laughs> <laughs> active. But next up is you, Felipe. It's me. Your one is height. But how am I going to do height if I'm going to see everyone? Blindfolded. Sense the height. You've got to sense it, sniff it out. Hi, George. We're in your ear. You can hear us. <laughs> what are oh. we going to say, George? Don't worry, this isn't the voice in your head. You have got an earpiece in. <laughs> you ain't going insane. Uh, George, we're thinking you'd be much better suited to be four foot eight rather than uh, six foot, if that's okay. <laughs> And uh, we'd also like you to pitch your voice up a bit. We don't know what you sound like, but just make your voice a little bit higher. Just so, you know, it's a bit more believable that you're four foot eight. And if you could possibly squat down a, just a touch, maybe even on your knees. But... Yeah, on your knees, on your knees, on your knees, on your knees. I'm sure you've heard that one before. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a hostage. <laughs> It looks like a hostage. Okay. Ready? 
Uh, I don't really like wearing these things. Um, I don't know how they're meant to make people fall asleep faster. It just like irritates my face, it's my jar. All right, so I'm gonna start with names. We'll start with the closest going that way. Hi, I'm Paul. Yes, Paul, big up. Hi, I'm George. Right, yeah, you definitely told that. You put that on. <laughs> yeah, next one. Good afternoon, Sean. What's happening, Sean? Go on. Chanel. Yes, yeah, Chanel. So, Sean, I can't lie, you give me the tallest vibes. Your voice is deep. Sean, I'm going to ask, what shoe size are you? 10. Oh, but your voice sounds kind of put on as well. Well, I don't think it is. It's so bad when you got a flying fold on. So just do forgive me if I did offend you with that comment. Just, that weren't the case, but I'm only going off the, the hearing. Paul. Yeah. What shoe size are you? Size 11. Uh, Chanel. Yeah. What size are you? Five. So Shan Shan, get on my right hand side, please. George, what shoe size are you? I'm size two. <laughs> yeah, George is bueno, I'll be real. Yeah, I'll are you be being serious though, yeah? What do you mean serious? Yeah, like, done. That confirmed that. All right, then, George. So you do me a favour. You stand on my. You stand right here for me, George. George. Yeah. Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> no, if it, it, if you are being serious, may God forgive me for real, because uh, my heart's not built like that. Stop laughing. <laughs> yeah, done. Because yeah, you stay where you are. That's Honestly, I yeah. will headbutt you. Yeah, that's confirmed. You stay where you are. In uh, the pool. Yeah. I'll headbutt you in the Yeah. You see when you, um, <laughs> you lips gal? Yeah. Do you gal look at you, or oh man, whatever you're into, do you gal look at you? Are you looking up or are you looking down? I'm looking down. Bruh. All right. Well, I kind of like what's going on here though. Um, but I need to find out who's moly moly. What, what, what's your favourite sport, Sean? Cricket. George. Second favourite? Rugby. Cricket. Yeah, all right, listen, you are on the wind up, you, you know. Say man sorry, is. small man syndrome. I got little man syndrome. Yeah. Sorry, what was your second sport? Rugby. Rugby, yeah. You stay where you are. Your voice, it, rugby. Like, you, you just sound tall. Paul. Yes. Could you dunk a basketball? No. Ooh. Paul, give me your hands. Where's your hands? Bit weird, isn't it? No, not really. <laughs> Not really, not for me. Um, I'm gonna say that man are 5'11", which is taller than me, because the truth is, I'll come out now, I've, I've shrank within the last three, four months. I used to be 6'2", I'm now 5'8". Is he right? No, he's not right. No, he's not right. No. Hey, look, George. George. <laughs> go to the front, go to the front, go on. Hey, <laughs> George, get to my right and Shan, you get on the left. Yes. No, wait, hold on. No, I've just felt what's going on here. You stay there. All right, um, so I'm going to lock this in now. Hey, Shan is a shorty, though. I feel like <laughs> All right, so we've got Shan last. Then we've got me. Then we've got George. I don't even know where you are, George. Then we've got um, Paul and then we got Sean. So I'm also going to lock in my mole to be George, he was back to Buki. So yeah, George is the mole, and this is the order. I'm locking it in. No one asked. <laughs> it's the voice. <laughs> no one asked. George, get up, stand behind him, and start just making faces. Stand up, stand up, stand up, quietly, quietly, quietly. <laughs> Make faces behind him. Mole, can you reveal yourself? I'm the mole, and I'm from Essex. Yeah, I knew it was, well, that's George, innit? I knew it was you, George. If I've got the order right, I'm a bad... Oh, please tell me I've got the order right. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yes, I was right with you! <laughs> oh, poor Sean, I got it wrong! I done well, though, considering you was very good. You were very good. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's like at four foot eight. Yeah, oh, it's exactly. like that. I was on my exactly. knees. You got sent to yeah. him. And there we have it. Your boy Young Philly was victorious. I got my position right and I also got the mole correct, which means I don't have to give away 200 pounds like Johnny. However, that being said, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been Young Philly. Those two have been Johnny Carey and Stephen Tries. We are over and out. Take care. I was going to donate our money to charity, so I hope you feel proud. <laughs> what been charity? He was going to give it to charities. Like, how f*** this? Disgusting.
His name is uh, Wallaby. <laughs> Wallaby? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm just in general very polite. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's Molish vibes, though.